If you're new to Wax and you've been trying to play and lately been getting CPU usage high, it can get pretty frustrating. And I get frustrated too, even someone that has over 1200 Wax staked, I still get high CPU issues. I actually had to stop playing so certain games that were a little more intensive because my CPU usage would get used up. So I've barely been playing, and if I go to my resources, I'm at 78% myself. And like I said, that's 1,200 staked, so that's not a good sign. Right now, what's going on with Wax is they are just getting so many requests that it's kind of bogging down the network. You have to think of it like this, you know, there's a pie, and when you stake, you're taking a little bit of that pie, but the more you stake, you're still taking it out of the same pie. So as others stake, it gets more expensive per piece and the pie's not getting bigger. And I've talked to them and I don't understand why they can't make the pie bigger, but from what they kind of said is something they need to do further research on, I believe. I don't know. I couldn't quite follow what they were saying didn't make sense to me. Even as a very technical person myself, I just didn't didn't get it. But anyway, I did see they plan to get stuff fixed probably by the end of the year, maybe. It's going to be a little bit of time till that happens. So what can you do for now? Well, what I would recommend is checking out a game that doesn't require as much CPU usage. If you're hitting this all the time, you need to either slim down your games, stake more, or do less. <laughs> My pandas, they ain't moving. <laughs> They're staying still right now. Because though I like the game, it's not as profitable as other games, so I have to put that on hold until the CPU usage stabilizes. For anyone that's been on Wax for a while, you'll kind of know you'll go like two or three weeks smooth sailing, no CPU issues at all. Then all of a sudden you'll get you hear a few people complaining about it, and then a few more, and then a few more, and then all of a sudden it starts to bite you. And that's kind of how it goes. So in this video I wanted to talk about a game that I play. Most of you, if you're familiar with me, already know the game, but I'm going to go over and talk about it if you're new. And that game is Krypton Quest. Now, this is really good because they reworked how the whole game worked in January. They had some issues with too many requests and, you know, CPU usage and everything, so they decided to take it off chain. So what that means is every time you do something inside the game, as long as it's not with your wallet or putting the robot into the game or taking the robot out of the game, it does not use CPU. So the only things that use CPU is if you're depositing, withdrawing coin, or if you're entering your robot for the first time into the game or taking your robot out of the game. That's it. Everything else is going to be in the game and not use CPU. When you start out, you're gonna have to deposit coins, you're gonna have to set up your robots. After you set up your robots, the rest of the game is in the game. And then when you wanna draw, you can withdraw. So with this game, it's very nice because it's not something you have to click off in. You do have to check it, but there are items that you can get in a game to make it easier for you so you don't have to check it as often. It's pretty passive for me right now, I have to check it maybe two to three times a day at the most, and probably in a week it'll be even longer at once I get a stronger power plant. I'm going to go over this game a little bit, and I do already have a full tutorial on it, which I'll put at the end of this video. But first, let's go and open some packs. All right. I'm with Astra, and I do recommend it. As you know, let's go and reveal some cards. I've been pretty lucky lately, so we'll see what I get. Yeah! The luck continues. <laughs> Check it out. That is a gold miner. I'll take it. I really wanted to buy some more gold miners, and this even makes it easier. Let's see if the luck can continue. Come on, let's see more gold. I'd go crazy. Okay, that's good. That's a silver attack robot. I only have three of those, so I believe I have three. So I think that's my fourth. Man, my luck is so good in these packs. Let's keep it that way, okay? Let's let's dream big. Let's go, Astro. We got this. Let's see what we get. Uh, unfortunately, that's the worst pack. Double soldier is... Soldiers aren't valued high right now, but I also think they are undervalued by a lot. So some people are even collecting them. Check the next one. Oh, double soldier, double time. Oh, man. 
Well, now that we saw that, we can go ahead and take a look and see how the game works. So these are my characters, and I can keep them in attack mode, minor mode, or event mode. So if you pull them out, that is CPU, and then if you put it back in, that's CPU. But you're not going to do this often. The only reason you'll do this is probably when an event happens or ends. You might pull out a team of up to 10 robots and then put them on the event. And then once they're in the event, you're off chain again. So then you're fine and you can partake in that area. And if you get a robot like the gold one I got, he specializes in mining cube. There's two tokens in this game, cube and krypton. So with cube, he's just going to be passively mining. And like I said, we got five of them now. I really want to get eight. I know it's a big... It's a lot, but I'd really like to boost up a bit. And he's just going to go ahead and keep mining and get that cube for us. So let them get the cube and you need someone to defend. So you have attackers and we also have some buildings that help out too. So we have attackers. These are going down to the planet and attacking. And once in a while, someone might attack us and we might get an NFT. Usually happens about once a day, maybe once every 36 hours I'm seeing right now just to give you an idea. And that does sell for a few bucks, you know, probably I would say two to eight dollars, depending which one you get. And I think those are even going to go up in price coming soon once the crafting update drops. So now that we have all these set on attacking, they're just going to attack. And my mission score is going to continue to go up. And you can see my attack power probably is 5,000 now. We'll just show you this real quick. So you can kind of see all the numbers. We're at 27.1 cube per hour and we're at 40 mining power. So that is what we're looking at for the attack. The event is going to be very soon. So I'm excited. If you try to attach, it says here coming soon. So I keep checking to see if that changes. And when it does, we're going to go ahead and send them off. You can also get buildings. Originally, you get 10 spots to go ahead and put robots in, which is enough for five packs. And they also do have special pack sale right now. Buy two packs and get a free mini boss pack. So I will have that link down below if you'd like. And if you want to join Astra, you know, you could join our team. We're going to be making a big guild on Astra in my Discord too. The link is down below. As always, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm a gamer. And we do give away free NFTs every Wednesday. So make sure you check out my link and maybe you'll win something. So with these buildings, they give you more robots or this one protects me. And this one fills my robots for me. So the game is really good. And we're going to be adding some crazy stuff with these robots. If we go into the build NFT, you can see you can build units. You can build buildings and equipment is coming soon. They have a mini market inside, which is really good for cube prices because you have to spend the cube to buy these certain things. And these do go. Sometimes they take a while, like this one slowed down a lot, but it's still going and it will sell out at some point. If we go in our inventory, you could see what we have here. These are just our flags. You get one in every pack. Nothing to do with right now, so we're not worried about that. They have changed the way you refill your robots to 0.05 Krypton and 5 cube. I think that's a lot better. Less Krypton, the better. And then you have your extra buildings. I currently have a turret just sitting. And then your materials. I got a lot of materials I've been saving. So I'm pretty ready. I got some queen bones. And I also got queen armor, but you can't see that yet. Oh, you can. It's in here. All right. They added that. So there's the silver queen suit that I got. And yeah, I got that in another video and I was really happy about that. So people are probably going to ask the usual, what's the ROI and all that? Well, it does well for me. But the thing is, we can't mine both tokens right now. You can only mine cube of power. Once the events come, which should probably be this week, then you're going to be able to get Krypton Cube and Krypton Cube is like six wax each. So if you're getting 20 per robot when you send them out, you're going to really make a good amount. Of course, the price will probably go down, but you're still going to make a good amount because you also have the cube, which is at 0.16, I believe. If you're worried about refilling your robots. The power plant is the way to go. Also, the higher the rarity of your robot, there's three different main types. There's, you know, common, silver, and gold. 
There is diamond, but very, very limited. And with those three, it takes, you don't have to fill them as often the higher they are. So the soldiers, you do have to fill a lot and they eat a lot of cube, but that's kind of how it goes. So if you want to check out this game, uh, check it out down below. This is a sponsored video. I do want to thank Krypton for sponsoring this video and I'm really enjoying this game. Can't wait for the mini boss event. Come on, mini boss event. So if you're playing, let me know. Or if you are looking to join Astra, that's us. Titan is number one, but they are sold out in packs. Chaos is quickly catching up in number two because now everyone's buying those packs since Titan are out. Once Chaos runs out of packs, then we're going to be jumping up because then we're the only ones that are going to have left. I also think we are going to make the most bank in this game. So if you're looking for ROI, Astra is the way to go because we have 99% chance to make a building where Chaos has 50% and Titan has 5%. So it's much better to be Astra if you're going to be crafting. Chaos is good at the slaves, so they can do 99% on the slaves, and we do 50% on them. That's a bunch of information for you. I do have a complete guide, like I mentioned. I will put it here at the end, and I'll also put the mini boss pack opening up top. That way you can check it out if you want to see what it's like, if you're interested in getting in and you want to get those two packs you have to hurry. I think the two packs are done with the bonus are done in a week. So you're going to want to jump on it quick and get into it if you do decide. So if you do, like I said, drop in my discord. We have our own Krypton room. We talk all about it and love to see you there. Thanks for the view.